I really felt sharing this today. I'm going to add to what you said about the wave. The first thing I want to say is a couple, couple days ago, I put something on my ministry page of the shootings that have been happening here in America. And the Lord began to speak to me. He said, do you see what I see? And I'm like, I didn't understand what he was saying. But when I took at it and I started praying, the Lord said, I want you to see the strategy that the enemy is doing in this moment. Look at the way I'm looking at it. This is what the enemy is showing you. He's showing you where he's attacking. It's a strategy that the enemy is showing us, but our eyes are so closed, we can't even see it. Look at what the enemy is showing you. He's showing you where he's attacking, the places he's attacking. Check out what he's attacking. He's attacking this generation. Why is he attacking this generation? Because Satan knows that there's a promise for this generation in this last hour. He doesn't want them to step into their destiny. So therefore, before he steps into the, their, his, their destiny, he's going to kill the destiny inside of them. Here's the point. He's afraid of what this generation can do. Come on, man. Come he's on. completely afraid. And the Lord began to show me. He said, I want you to see what the enemy is showing you. It's a strategy of what he's doing right now. I want you to pay attention because what the church has to realize wherever the enemy is attacking that's what we got to go and begin to start declaring and declaring glory but not just in those places to this generation the enemy is afraid of this generation because there is a promise in scripture was about to take place and I finished with this as he was talking about the wave I don't want to offend anybody but I'm gonna just tell you the truth when you look at the beach, there ain't no old people surfing in the wave. There's young people that surf in the wave. This wave that's coming, this glory that's coming, what's going to happen is this generation is going to get so full and so radical with the presence of God. They're the ones that's going to be surfing in the wave. They're the ones that are going to be like, yeah, baby, what's up? What I'm telling you is, the reason why there's attack in this generation, or the reason why there's an attack in, right now in the school system, the enemy is afraid of what's about to take place with this generation. The supernatural is real, guys. I'm talking to this generation. Superman, you can be Superman in the Holy Ghost. You can be Goku and Vegeta in the Holy Ghost. Do you believe it? Now let me give you scripture to back up what he's saying. Exodus 2 and Matthew 2. Moses was born and the generations began to be attacked because a deliverer had come. Matthew 2, Jesus was born and the generations were attacked. They started wiping them out because a deliverer has come. Amen. And I want to tell you, we're in chapter 2 this morning because a generation is being attacked because deliverers have come among our young people. Can you say amen? Father, we pray for the deliverers. We pray for the deliverers of our nation, God. We pray for a generation that will not grow up and despise wisdom and despise your spirit, oh God. We pray for a generation that even at the age of 12, will walk in the wisdom of their father and be about their father's business, God. We pray for a generation that will stand up against the pharaohs of this land and cry, let my people go. We cry out for a generation of miracle work and deliverers rising up now in the name of Jesus. Come forth. Come forth. Let the deliverers come forth in Jesus' name.